If you love takeout, I've seriously got the most incredible recipe for General Sow's Chicken. It's absolutely jam-packed with flavor. It's really easy to do. You are going to love this. And I'm doing it in partnership with my friends over at Lee Kum Kee. If you're anything like me, this is one of my absolute favorite things to order because there's just so much flavor in there. But now we get to make it from home. We got to knock out a little prep first. Sound good? Let's cook. We need to get some chicken marinating. So I'm going to start off with two boneless, skinless chicken breasts in between seven and nine ounces. Now, no need for a mallet. Just make sure you've got some gloves on and you can simply pound down the chicken just a little bit. All we're trying to do is flatten it out so that we have nice bite-sized pieces and not overly large, thick chicken pieces. So next, simply cut them into half inch thick slices. And once they are to that perfect consistency, we're next just going to cut them crosswise so we get nice half inch to three quarter inch bite sized pieces. This looks absolutely perfect and at this point get all that chicken up and we're going to set it to the side in a bowl and now to start marinating. I'm going to add in a bit of soy sauce next some sugar and then i'm going to be using lee cum keys pure sesame oil which is made from the finest roasted sesame seeds it's absolutely delicious can add a ton of flavor in this marinade and let me stop and say this lee cum key offers a wide range of authentic asian sauces and condiments and it doesn't matter if i'm making my stir fries or my fried rices i'm always using their wonderful ingredients and you can definitely pick them up from your favorite local grocery store in the asian aisle now let's finish up this chicken. We're gonna crack an egg in there. It's gonna add some body, a little bit of fat for flavor. We're going to, of course, season it up very well with sea salt and fresh cracked black pepper. Using your hands with a glove on or even just a spoon, we wanna mix this together to help incorporate all of those amazing flavors. This is really important. Do not skip this piece. And then we're going over to the refrigerator to let it marinate. This is great timing because now we can make our sauce. And once the sauce is done, we bring the chicken back out, we bread it, we fry it. It will move very quickly. So please pay close attention. I've got a yellow onion, which I'm going to slice off both ends. And then I'm simply going to cut it in half. Of course, remove that outside peel. And then I'm actually going to slice it in half again. We don't need a ton of onions. I don't want it to be too overpowering. I want it to complement. And then we're going to thinly julienne or thinly slice them. Once they are to that perfect consistency, this looks great. We're going to set them to the side in a bowl. And now I'm going to run a few garlic cloves through a garlic press. Yes, you can absolutely finely mince these yourself. And now I've got a nice big hunk of fresh ginger, which I'm going to slice down to about a one inch block or so peel the outside it is not edible and then i'm going to slice it in half again and then thinly slice it just like i did the onions once it is to that perfect slice we're going to set it to the side in that bowl and now in a separate bowl let's make our sauce i've got some rice vinegar next i've got a little bit of cold water now I'm going to add in some soy sauce, a little bit of sugar for sweetness, and for a little bit more sweetness, I've got some honey, which is gonna really add some great body and also help thicken everything up really nicely. And now I'm gonna be adding in Panda Brand Oyster Flavored Sauce. I absolutely love this sauce. I use it in all my stir fries, all of my fried rices. It is fantastic and it really makes this sauce. Now we're gonna add in some chilies. These are very mild. I don't have a high tolerance for spicy food. Grab a whisk and make sure all of these ingredients are combined. Really, we wanna make sure the sugar is dissolved. We're gonna set that to the side and then as a precaution, because we wanna make sure the sauce is thick, I've got a small bowl with some water, a little bit of cornstarch. We're just gonna mix this together until it is combined. This is gonna be our thickening agent, again, to make sure our general sow sauce is perfectly thick. Now, grab that chicken out of the refrigerator because it's go time. Starting with adding in some cornstarch and then a little bit of flour. Use your hand with a glove on or even a spoon. You want to thoroughly, thoroughly mix this. The goal here should be a very thick, almost tempeh batter. This looks absolutely perfect. We're heading over to our cooktop where I have a large wok with a bunch of cooking oil. We want to get it to right around 350 degrees, which is going to be perfect for frying. So add a little piece of chicken at a time to the wok. Don't worry, it can handle quite a bit. You need to cook this in batches, but you could probably do it a half at a time. 
we're going to add in one piece at a time just so it does not stick to each other. Now using a slotted spoon, we're just going to start moving things around. This will actually cook very quickly. We're talking maybe three to four minutes. We want to get a nice golden brown on them and ensure they're completely cooked through. These look fantastic. We're going to set them to the side on a towel just to drain off any excess fat. Now take that wok, drain the oil and set it to the side. Bring the wok back over. We're going to add in a little bit more Lee Kum Kee sesame oil for some flavor here and now add in those thinly sliced onions, garlic, and ginger. We're gonna start making our delicious General Tso's sauce. So grabbing the handle with one hand while putting your spoon in the center of the pan while constantly moving it around to make sure nothing is burning while constantly stirring and frying it. This is perfect. Now add in that General Tso's sauce. This is gonna be amazing. We're just gonna bring it to a boil over medium high heat, which happens very quickly in a wok because the metal is nice and thin. We're gonna add in our thickening agent, our slurry, our combination of cornstarch and water. Using your spoon, go ahead and move things around just to stir it. You can see the viscosity in the sauce, absolutely perfect. It's gonna coat that chicken very, very nicely. Now add in our fried chicken, and that's why it's okay that we set it to the side because the sauce is nice and hot. So just in case that chicken cools down a bit, the sauce is gonna reheat it back up. It looks amazing, it smells amazing. Now go ahead and take that pan and let's go right over to our countertop. And I can't say it enough, Comey's, once you start understanding and putting into practice these fundamental cooking techniques like making classic Asian style sauces or knowing how to properly stir fry and using them in your everyday cooking, all of your homemade food from scratch will always taste better. Better than the restaurants, better than the stores. It is incredible. It smells amazing in here. So let's not waste any more time and plate up in slow-mo. I'm going to serve all this General Tso's chicken up in a nice large bowl. You can see how perfectly that sauce has coated our chicken. It looks absolutely fantastic. We're next going to finish it off by adding on a bit of sesame seeds and then finally some thinly sliced green onions. And my goodness, check out this beauty. and you think it's good when you order takeout, wait till you order from home. Oh my gosh, it is so much better. Be sure to like and share this video. Huge thanks to my friends over at Lee Kum Key and definitely check out this video because it is super good. See you on there.